Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, Sculpt Class from 9 to 9.30. My name is Josh. Um, as we're getting started today, uh, feel free to grab um, water, clear any space around you. There's going to be no designated water breaks, so throughout the class, if you need to grab water at all, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm going to have music playing in the background. If you like this um, playlist and you want to follow along, it's right here. It's UREC Glute Sculpt 47. So if you want to follow along, feel free, look it up, look it up after class if you want. So this is going to be about a 30 minute class. Uh, it's going to be focused on glutes mainly in a little bit of lower body. You'll need no equipment besides yourself and maybe a chair or a wall for stability and balance and also um, a towel or a sweatshirt or a blanket that you fold um, and have to put under your knees at some points during our class. So again, if you're just joining us, my name is Josh. I'm a Group X instructor here at JMU. This is gonna be a 30 minute sculpt class focused on glutes. So grab your water, uh, grab a chair or be near a wall in case you need some stability. Um, and then a towel or a blanket or a sweatshirt to put under your knees in case you might need that support when we're on the ground. We'll get started here in just a minute or two, or just a minute or two, excuse me. People are still joining here. Awesome, I hope everyone's been well, uh, staying healthy, staying safe, and doing what you need to do to support yourself. I know I've been living life here in Harrisonburg. I miss all of you dearly. I see a lot of familiar faces and a lot of familiar friends. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. All right. So again, if you wanna follow along on the playlist, it's gonna be here, you at Glute Sculpt for seven, should be under my name on Spotify. Other than that, like I said before, grab that water, grab that towel or sweatshirt to put underneath of your knees. Clear the space around you. We're gonna be standing and sitting for our class today. I also recommend that in the top right, you click speaker view as opposed to gallery view. That way my face can be big on your screen so you can see everything that I'm doing. And we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna change over the music and we will get started. Let's see if I can make myself a little bit bigger on my screen. Nice. All right, everyone. We're gonna start with a few marches. I'll be cut off for a little bit, but bring those legs up into a march. Nice, bring those feet a little bit wider. In four, three, spinal flexion, down for four, we're rolling down. Two, three, tuck that head, roll it up, it's up. Nice, one more, back down, it's down. Two, three, tuck that head, roll it up in four. Three, cut it in half, for two, we're going down. For two, and up, for two, good, rolling out that spine, and up. Few more, it's down, for two, and up. One more, in four, three, we're reaching, pushing that wall, here we go, it's reach. Twisting at that torso. Nice big stretch, extending those arms all the way. We're pushing those walls across the room. Still breathing, four, three. We're reaching overhead, up and over. Working out that shoulder here. In four, three, pulling those knees up nice and wide. Come with me. Getting that small twist in that torso. Few more, it's up. In four, three, hand curls, bring those heels back, opening up that chest. Stretching out the backs of those legs. In four, Three, touching those ankles in the front. Small little ankle taps here. Getting an inward rotation of that leg. Breathe in here, few more. In four, three, 
Kick those legs in front. These aren't about height, just stretching out the back of our leg. Let's kick. A few more. In four, three. We're gonna bring it to a squat and a toe touch. We squat, then we touch our toes. Knees behind our toes, chest is lifted. Just reaching for those toes, stretching out the backs of our legs and lower back. Feel free to keep a soft bend in those knees when we go down, keeping that head above that heart. We have three, two, and one. All right, everyone. So again, welcome to glutes or sculpt, I guess, from 9 to 9.30. What we're gonna be doing today is a few triple sets of exercises. And what that means is we're gonna be doing three exercises in a row, each for 15 seconds, three times through. So it's gonna be a little bit less than three minutes of work per set. We have four sets in total, and then we repeat them all over again. And we're doing a triple set because a lot of our exercises are right and left sides. So, our first exercise is gonna be a squat or a squat pulse. How that's gonna work is you're gonna sink down in a squat and pulse out here, keeping that chest lifted, weight in your heels, or feel free to stand up and down and squat here. Once those 15 seconds are up, we're gonna bring it to a leg abduction. Feel free to grab a chair or a wall, grab that chair and bring that leg out. Start with whatever leg you want. We're gonna switch between right and left. So we have those squats or those pulses, then bringing it to those abductions. We're gonna get started in a few seconds. We have four, three, two, and one. Squat it out. 15 seconds here. Feel free to keep this at a pulse or bring it up and down here. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Getting ready for those abductions. I'm using my left leg first. Again, if you want that balance, hold that wall or that chair. Driving that leg up, you should feel a squeeze in the side of that glute. We have four, three, two, switching legs. Again, keeping that balance. Without a wall or a chair, it's gonna work your balance a bit more. But feel free to grab that wall. We have four, three, two, right back to that squat and that pulse. This is round two out of three. Hanging out down here. Five more seconds. We have four, three, two, and one leg abductions. Again, if you wanna test your balance a little bit, feel free to not grab that chair, but feel free to grab that wall or that chair if you need to. We have four, three, two, and one, switching legs. Again, feeling that squeeze in that side of that glute keeping that core drawn in and engaged. Still breathing here. In four, three, two, squat it down, last round. This is round three. Challenge yourself here. We have four, three, two, and one, leg abductions, you know the drill. Grounding firm in that supporting leg. Drawing that core in. We have four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. And feeling that squeeze. A few seconds left. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. So we're moving on to our next set of exercises. Feel free to shake out those legs and grab some water. We have a glute bridge and a donkey kick. How that's gonna look for our glute bridge. We're gonna be on our back, heels underneath of our knees. We're gonna press our hips up towards the sky, push all the way up, straight line from knees to chin, and come back down. That's our glute bridge. For our donkey kicks, we're gonna do one leg at a time. Tabletop position here, feel free to place that towel underneath of your knees. Take that leg, flex that foot, raise the roof with your foot. We're gonna do a few each side. We're gonna start with those glute bridges. We're gonna get started here. We have three, two, and one. 15 seconds. Pressing all the way up, full extension of that hip, up towards the sky. 
Still breathing. We have four, three, two, and one. Flipping over for those donkey kicks. I'm using my right leg first, flexing that foot, pressing up. We're focusing on our quick transitions today. Keeping that core engaged. You don't want to arch your back all the way. Keep that back nice and safe. A few more. We have four, three, two, switching legs. Pressing up towards the sky. Keeping those hips square towards the ground. Still breathing. We have four, three, two, and one. Back to those blue fridges. This is round two. Pressing up, 15 seconds. Here we go. It's up. Taking these at your own pace, as quick or as slow as you want. We have four, three, two, and one. Flipping over. Donkey kicks. Right leg pushing up. And raising the roof here. You don't have to bring that knee all the way back in unless you want to. A few more. Four, three, two, and one. Switching legs here. Keeping that gaze towards the ground or directly in front of you by a little bit. We have four, three, two, and one. Last round, going back down for those glute bridges. Starting in three, two, and one. Again, that straight line from that knee to that chin. Exhale, as we fight against gravity here. It's Last push, we have four, three, two, and one. Switch in here. Bringing that leg up for those donkey kicks. We have press. 15 seconds here. A few more seconds, pushing through. We have four, three, two, and one. Switch in here. Push that leg up towards the sky, raise that roof. Two more seconds. Last push, we have three, two, and one. All right, feel free to grab some water here if you need to. We have two more sets, we run through everything all over again. What we're gonna do next is bring it to a sumo squat and then a leg extension. You might wanna have your chair handy here in case you want that support. For our sumo squat, like our normal squat, feet a little bit wider. Toes pointed out towards the corners. We're gonna bring it down and up. You should feel it more on the inner thighs. If you wanna pulse it down here, feel free to do so. Also, for our leg extension, I'm gonna show you from the side. It's a small movement here. That leg is going back and down. You should feel squeeze the bottom of your glute, pressing it back and down. We're gonna start with that sumo squat in just a few seconds. Hope you're still doing okay. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna get started with that sumo squat in four, three, two, and one. Squat down. I'm pulsing it out. If you want, bring it up and down. Again, you should feel this more on the inner of your thigh. Point those toes out towards the side. We have four, three, two, and one, grabbing that chair, that wall for support. Bring it to those leg extensions. We're going back, pick a leg, keep that core engaged, that back nice and strong. Going back out to the back of the room. We got a few more here. We have four, three, two, and one. Again, setting that leg back. A nice small movement here, squeeze in the bottom of that glute. A few more seconds here. We have four, three, two, and one. Back to those sumo squats, legs pointed out. I'm pulsing it out. Feel free to go up and down here. 
Again, we have these quick transitions throughout our class today. Still breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth. A few more seconds. We have four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, leg extensions. Bring that leg back and down. Again, feeling that squeeze in the bottom of that glute. Testing your balance. If you want to release those hands, just keep that core engaged. We have four, three, two, and one. Switch legs here. Again, a small movement here. Kicking that leg back. A few more seconds. And then we have our final round. We have three, two, and one. Squat it out, sumos. Hanging out down here. This is our last round of this exercise until we do it again in round two. A few more seconds here. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up. Those leg extensions going back. Whichever leg you want to start first. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Switching legs. I don't know about you all. My glutes are a little bit on fire right now. A few more. We have three, two, and one. All right, shaking out those legs. We're not going to need our chair or a wall for this set of exercises. What we're going to do is bring it to a similar glute bridge like we did before. Last time your legs were a little bit wider. This time I want you to keep your legs closed. So kiss those feet together. We're going to get to our narrow glute bridge. Looks very much the same. Kiss those legs together. Go up and down. It should activate a few different muscle groups here. Then for our second exercise, we have our fire hydrants. They kind of look what they sound like. I'll show you from the front first. You're going to be in tabletop position here. You're going to bring one leg out to the side and bring it down. So there's that lateral movement of that leg. And from the side, it looks like this. We're going to like up and down. We're going to start with those narrow glute bridges for 15 seconds. We're going to get started here in four, three, two, and one, driving those legs up, kissing those feet together. It might limit your range of motion a little bit, and that's okay. Just push as far as you want to. We have four, three, two, and one. Flipping over for those fire hydrants. Again, feel free to place that towel or sweatshirt underneath of your legs. Strong tabletop position here. I'm using my right leg. 15 seconds going up and down. Activating the side of our glute here. You should feel nice small squeezes. Keeping that core nice and strong, nice flat back. We have three, two, go ahead and switch legs here. I'm flipping the other way. 15 seconds, nice and strong. Pressing through all of those fingers on the floor. Shoulders stacked above our wrists. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Going back down to those narrow glute bridges on our backs. We're down here. 15 seconds, here we go. Kissing those feet together. Driving up towards the sky. Few more here. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up for those fire hydrants. I'm doing it with you all. Bring that leg up out to the side. Keeping those hips square towards the ground. Pressing through all of those fingers. We have three, two, and one. Switching legs here, out to the side. Raising that leg only as high as you're able. No need to extend all the way up. Some movements out to the side still work. A few more. We have three, two, 
And one last round of these narrow glute bridges. Laying back on our backs, kissing those feet together. Driving up, we have three, two, and one. Going up. Press it all the way up. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Again, focusing on that straight line from our knees to our chin. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up for those fire hydrants. Strong tabletop. We're getting started in three, two, and one. Again, keeping that neutral head, that gaze towards the floor. Nice, strong spine. We have three, two, and one. Switch your legs. I'm switching sides. That way you all can see. A few more seconds is our last push. We have three, two, and one. Whew. All right, everyone. Whew. Take that breath, grab some water. What we're gonna do next is go through that set, all those exercises again. This time though, I'm gonna offer a challenge if you wanna challenge yourself just a little bit more, if you maybe wanna up the intensity on some of these exercises. So again, same simple movements. I'll explain the simple ones again, but I will be adding that challenge if you want that extra challenge or extra intensity boost in these glute exercises. So going back to the beginning here, we have those squats or that pulse like we did earlier. If you want that challenge, bring it to a side lunge, stay low, squat, side lunge. Stay low here if you want this challenge. And these leg abductions, same thing as last time. So we'll go ahead and get started with our squat or our side lunge move throughs. We're gonna get started in three, two, and one. If you want the squat, feel free to stay here. If you want a challenge, side lunge, middle, Side lunge, stay low. Still breathing here. But again, keep it here if you want. We have three, two, and one. Grab that chair if you need it. Go into those leg abductions out to the side. 15 seconds. We have three. Two, and one, switching sides. Again, if you want that balance, grab that chair. If you want to challenge your core a bit, feel free to not have anything to hold on to. This is round one. We have three, two, and one. Back to that squat. If you want that move through, again, lunge, squat, and stay low in this lunge. But again, pulse it out if you want. A few more seconds. We have three, two, and one. Leg abductions out to the side. 15 seconds. Still breathing here. Got in through our nose and out through our mouth. Draw that core in, belly button towards our spine. We have three, two, and one, switching legs. A few more seconds. Draw on that leg up, we have three, two, last push with these squats. Again, if you want that challenge, go side to side and stay low. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Last round, leg abductions coming up. Again, brace that core. Deep breaths here. We have three, two, and one. Switching sides. Two more. Three. Two, and one. All right, grab that water if you need it. 
we're gonna bring it back to that normal glute bridge and those donkey kicks. We have an extra added challenge here. If you want for this glute bridge, keep it like you normally did, legs about hip width apart, or if you want, do one leg at a time and bring it to our marching glute bridge here, pressing that foot up. For our donkey kick, if you want, keep it at that regular one here. If you want that challenge, bring it up, extend it back, up, and in, bring it to a donkey kick and a hand curl. We're gonna get started with those glute bridges or those marching glute bridges. We have three, two, and one, bring it up. Again, legs hip width apart here. If you want, march it up one leg at a time. Still getting that full extension in that hip. We have three, two, and one, flipping over. Grab that towel or that sweatshirt for their knees if you want. Bring that leg up and down if you want. Up, back, up, and down. If you want, you can just keep it here at this ham curl. You'll feel a little bit extra burn in those glutes. We have three, two, and one, switch your legs. Again, if you want, extend that foot back. If not, get these donkey kicks here. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Bring it back to those marching glute bridges or those normal glute bridges. 15 seconds, here we go. Pressing through those heels all the way up. If you want to challenge, just hang out here and pulse at the top. We have three, two, and one. Bringing it to those donkey kicks, here we go. If you want, add that hand curl. A few more seconds. We have three, two, and one, switching legs. Again, keep it at this donkey kick if you want, or add that ham curl. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Can't remember if we've done three or not, but we're gonna do one more just in case. I think this is number three. Getting started in three, two, and one, going up. If this is number four, oh well. Getting a little bit extra workout in those glutes. Again, adding that march if you want. We have three, two, and one. Flipping over, donkey kicks. Last time, I promise. Going up and down. If you want that hand curl, go back and up. We have three, two, and one. Switching legs. Just hanging out here, you know. Living large. A few more. We have three, two, and one. We have two more rounds of exercises and then we're gonna cool it down. So what we're gonna do here is bring it back to those sumo squats and those leg extensions going back. Same thing here, nothing crazy again. Legs pointed out, sumo squat hanging out. And then we're gonna bring it to those leg extensions going back. We'll get started here in three, two, and one, going down, sumo squat. This is round one. I'm gonna keep counting this time just in case. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up, leg extension going back. Feel free to grab that chair or that wall if you have one to add a little bit extra stability here. We have three, two, and one. Switching legs. Keeping that core nice and engaged. We have three, two, and one. Sumo squats going down. We have three, two, and one. Leg extensions going back. This is round two. 
Then after this, we have one more round of this. Then last push, and then we're gonna be done, everyone. We have three, two, and one. Switch it up. We have three, two, and one. Last round of your sumo squats. Hanging out here. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up, leg extensions last time here. You should start to feel it in your glutes here, those small squeezes. We have three, two, and one. Switch it up. Going back. Whew. Again, testing that balance here. We have three, two, and one. All right, we have one more round of our glute exercises here, and then we're gonna cool it down. So we'll finish our work a little bit after 9.30 and then do a three minute cool down, and then you all will be done. So for our exercises here, go back to that narrow glute bridge for me, but point those toes out. So kiss those heels together, you can see, and point those toes out. Bring it to our first position glute bridge here. And then for our fire hydrant, same thing. Bring that leg out. And if you want, add a press back. So it's out and press back. So we're gonna start with that first position glute bridge. Knees together, toes apart. Getting ready in three, two, and one. Getting started. Need my timer. We have up. We have three, two, and one. Going back to those fire hydrants. Leg coming up, and if you want, press it back. Up and back. A few more. We have three, two, and one. Switch your legs. Again, up and back. Or if you want, just keep it up and down. We have three, two, and one. Going back to those first position glute bridges, knees together, toes apart, laying back. Here we go, 15 seconds, round two, seconds to last. Pressing those hips up, still breathing. We have three, two, and one. Flipping over fire hydrants here. Going back and down, and down. My timer went away, sorry. All right, and again, if you want that press back, feel free. We have three, two, and one. Switching legs up and back if you want. Just send them that like straight back. Few more. We have three, two, and one. All right, last round before our cool down. So we're getting ready. Knees together, toes apart. First position glute bridge. We have three, two, and one. Going up. Still breathing, pushing through. Last set. We have three. Two, and one. Last push, fire hydrants on those press backs. Up, and back. Still breathe in. Y'all got it, you made it this far. Finish strong, finish powerful. Few more. We have three, two, and one. Last side, up, and back. Don't push your couch like I just did. Few more. Last final exercise. We have three, two, and one. All right, send it back into a child's pose. Heels underneath of our glutes, send those arms nice and long. Stretch out that spine and those legs. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit here. Bobby, cool down. 
We're hanging out. Send those arms nice and long, send those hips back. Take those big deep breaths. Grab some water if you need it. Nice, coming back up. We're going to swing our legs through, kiss our feet together for a butterfly stretch here. Stretching out those hips and those legs. Keeping our chest nice and tall. We're just taking some deep breaths here. Awesome, extend those legs out nice and long. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hinge at that lower back, grabbing those toes or those shins or those knees, however far you can reach. And take some deep breaths here. Bring those legs in. Slowly stand up here. Bring those legs apart. You're going to bring one arm down, both arms down to one leg and give it a pull with that hand. You should feel a stretch in that side. Switch sides here. Reach for that toe, give it a pull. Should feel a stretch in that back. This side here, take that hand, pull nice and strong. Come back up. Flat back here, round that spine, and release. Round, release some standing cat cows here. Nice, bring it back center, hang out down here. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Just hang out, releasing any of that built up tension in that body. All right, we're gonna inhale all the way up, reach towards the sky. Come down, give yourself a big hug. Think to yourself, I am strong, I am powerful, I am appreciated, and I can accomplish the rest this week. May you find your gifts, share them with the world, and leave it and the people in it better than you found it. Inhale all the way up, reach towards the sky, and exhale, clap it on down. Thank you all so much for spending your morning with me. My name is Josh. This was sculpt from nine to about 9.30. Feel free to check out our other Group X offerings going on this week. You can find them on Facebook, online, on Instagram, anywhere UREC is found. Other than that, stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you all in my next class. Have a great week, y'all. Thanks for coming.